Bitcoin is on the verge of a huge breakout. And I think that this time it could actually happen. And the people that are being sidelined right now, sorry, you have to wait another four years. It's ridiculous. Like this is the moment to be bullish. Pullbacks could happen in the short term, of course. But if you are now bearish on the market, what are you doing, man? So let's go over a couple of very interesting things in the market and some questions and suggestions that you guys had. I want to do that occasionally because I just want interaction. I noticed that this audience is smart as fuck. I see a lot of bearish people in times where you should be bullish and I see a lot of bullish people in times where you should be bearish. I noticed though that this community kind of gets it though. So... Love you guys, thanks for watching, like the video if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on, and let's get right into it. So Bitcoin is sitting at the moment of recording at $68,500, it went to 69 dollars Now what's so interesting about this is that if you draw these lines as, as, as like conservative and bearish as you possibly could, then it's still a breakout, right? Um, even if you connect these two dots together, then Bitcoin still broke out. So it looks like it really wants to do that right now. And then we get a short term, you know, rejection, little pullback. That's normal. But this is showing like, wow, strength is here, right? And also during this uptrend, the Bitcoin dominance went down a little bit. Now, these are like super small moves, of course. Um, don't get me wrong. The dominance is still in the massive uptrend. So it is Bitcoin season. It is altcoins are getting fucking slaughtered season. Not altcoin season, of course. But it is showing like, hey, once Bitcoin goes up a little bit, and once the Bitcoin dominance goes down a little bit, and I really mean a little, little, little bit, you can already see that the Bitcoin or that the altcoin market is doing quite okay. It's really well above the bull market support band. It broke out of this downtrend. It's in this uptrend right here. And altcoins are getting ready for the second leg up. And that's not a small leg. That's really the leg that we are all waiting for. And it makes sense. Elections are coming. You know, Harris or Trump, I've said this for a long time, doesn't really matter. The market wants certainty. One of the two is going to win and the market is going to fucking like that. So let's get into some really interesting stuff right now. Some questions or comments from you guys. So leave down below whatever you want to leave down below so I can take it in one of these next videos. And one uh, person says, if you're not ready now, you don't deserve to get rich. And that is so true like some people they keep on waiting for lower and lower and lower and as you may know i'm not all in crypto i have a good bag of cash because it just helps me sleep at night and so far in the downwards market i was able to buy real dips but most of my money is in crypto because we know what's coming rate cuts are happening a president is getting elected we have qe around the corner and it's simply almost post halving year and crypto the reason why it goes up or down is simply because it is super cyclical and 2025 is the year the post halving year which is known for all season so you should be in the market right now it's way more risky to not be in the market because what if it all goes up you're not in the market you feel like shit this is really it right by that time it's already way too high and you're buying the top and you have been in the market for a long time but eventually you're just exit liquidity that's not what you want just be there have exposure we can have short-term moves to the downside. So what? That's part of the game, man. Somebody says, if you want likes, just don't talk too long about Bitcoin and give us some coins that you like. Look, I'm not looking for likes. I only ask if you like the video, then like the video. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. But let's be honest. Crypto is about Bitcoin. The altcoins that you like depend on Bitcoin. They exist because of Bitcoin in the first place, right? So you always want to take a step back. You want to know what kind of stage in the market you are in. If we are in a market where the macro is looking bad, then you know that Bitcoin responds negative to that. Then you know that altcoins don't respond well to that as well. So I can, of course, always throw altcoins here, altcoins there. But the last, like, this, well, the complete market so far has basically showed us that Talking about altcoins was nonsense. It, we didn't need it so far. If you look at altcoins on their Bitcoin pair, right? It's very simple. They are sitting at the bottom, right? So ever since the bear market started, basically, you could have either been in cash, right? That, that was the best thing actually to do. 
but you could have also been in Bitcoin. Then you didn't lose that much, right? All, where all altcoins went down 90% or more, Bitcoin didn't even come close to that. And now with your Bitcoin, you can buy altcoins at the lows, right? So for the last couple of months, I've been talking about altcoins because I'm definitely not trying to time that low, but I've been talking about the fact that we should not buy altcoins for a long time. And I'm personally pretty happy with that because that really worked out. And now at this bottom, I feel like, yeah, it's now time to talk about altcoins. But you have to understand what's behind that. I'm not going to be that YouTube channel that talks about specific coins all the freaking time, right? There are too many people doing that, but all these people don't really understand when to talk about it, right? When it's time for specific assets in this market. If you understand that, then you nail it. Then you completely nail it. Pretty much everyone in crypto is anticipating an alt season. Imagine if it does not even happen. Like Musk says, the most uh, ironic outcome is the most likely outcome. Look, in theory, uh, it is possible and, 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 and usually what people expect to happen does not happen. But one, that's usually. But two, there are, one, basically no people in crypto right now if you compare it to like retail euphoria. Two, most people now are actually saying what you say basically. Well, I think all season is not going to happen. This is it, guys. This is the moment that an alt season is brewing, actually. Because what you say is correct. Like, if, if, if every, everybody expects something, then it probably doesn't happen, right? Here, when the Bitcoin dominance was very low, so for the people that may be new to the channel, if the Bitcoin dominance goes up, Bitcoin season, and if it goes down, it's altcoin season, right? We've been in Bitcoin season for a long time right now. And everybody here was talking about alt season, alt season, alt season, alt season, and slowly but steady, these people have been proven completely wrong, right? And now that the Bitcoin dominance is basically sitting at the top, in my opinion, now everybody is starting to talk like, well, maybe we do not get an alt season. Maybe we should be in Bitcoin. Like, ah, that's what you should have said two years ago. Now it's time to flip it around again, right? Now it's time to go against that sentiment. Now it's time to be one of the fewer people that says, hey, guys, I don't know. <laughs> everybody got wrecked. Nobody believes anymore. So probably alt season should be coming soon, actually. That's my opinion. Made a list with top 50 crypto gaming coins and somebody uh, asked very nicely, hey, where is Scorpo and where is OTK? Absolute no-brainers. Um, not in my list, but again, I made a list with 50 coins and didn't include them all. Um, the reason why I don't include Corpo in my watch list personally is because of the massive token inflation. I don't like tokens that have 10x dilution to come. Um, that's just simply, you know that other people are getting their tokens and they will dump on you. Why would I offer myself as exit liquidity? Um, that's for me, at least, the reason why I don't have it. I mean, most people, they would look at this and be like, wow, it's just a $10 million market cap. It's so low, right? And it is, but the fully diluted is 83. Now, what you want to look at, of course, is when are the tokens getting vested? How long does it take? Who is getting the tokens in the first place? But I just see these numbers and be like, you know, this token could do a 6x, a 7x, and the price would still be the same, if you know what I mean. And I, I just don't feel like that's what you want to do. And if you look at the graphs between price and market cap, you already see that it's happening, right? The, the graph is completely different. Price went from 120 to 11 cents. Right, came down 10x. Well, if you look at the market cap, it went from 40 million to 10 million, just came down 4x, aka people are dumping quite heavily at this particular moment. Yeah, that's for me, like, I don't want to be there when that happens. Very simple. Although I like the project, I just don't like the tokenomics. And OTK, um, have to do some research on it. But I get the hype. If you look at the one year change, then it's 4,000%. So of course, price going up gets people excited. Um, but if I, if I look at this, I'd be like, okay, you know what? The people that were here, they, they made out of this what you can make out of this. If you're here, you'll probably write it up, but you will write it up with the rest of the crypto market. So when it comes to that, chart-wise, I feel like the big move, missed out on that. 
Um, and is there further upside? Yeah, together again with the rest of the market. So I don't think that I specifically need this coin uh, for that. Although again, I don't know about this one. Could go to a billion dollar market cap for all I know. No idea. Again, about the top 50 uh, coins. Engine coin didn't even make the list. Yeah, no, it didn't even make the list, no. And look, that's very simple, right? Um, you cannot like what everybody likes, of course. But if you look at Engine coin, this is what it looks like, right? And this is on its Bitcoin pair. Fair enough. On the dollar pair, it looks a little better. But what's the difference? Well, on the Bitcoin pair, it has been going down. On the dollar pair, it has been going down less hard. But that's just simply because Bitcoin has been going up. So why wouldn't you just stick with Bitcoin in that case, right? That's sometimes how you, in my opinion, really need to look at things. Like if a coin goes down against Bitcoin, right? So let's say you put one Bitcoin in uh, at, at, at this price, for example. Now you would have 10th of a Bitcoin, right? Purely because you invested in a speculative coin. While Bitcoin is way more valuable than engine coin. So why would you lose so many Bitcoin over that? It's nonsense, right? Bitcoin is way lower risk and apparently way higher reward. So there's not a single reason I can think of to be in this coin. Yeah, maybe because one day it will go up, but let's wait for that one day because do you really want to ride it all the way down, right? To eventually maybe ride it up again. It's not worth it, man. You could have made profits this whole time and instead you're throwing your money away. Um, so therefore, charts that look like this, I feel like it's terrible. Plus, is engine coin really being used for something? I, I don't know. There are so much good stuff in gaming. Uh, engine coin would be somewhere the last coin I would personally look at. Somebody said, super, a top tier coin, 5 to 10x from here. A good token, but no, so much better returns elsewhere. I don't know, man. I don't know. Look, you have to think about it like this. Most altcoins lately have been going down, right? Of course, we have some speculative low cap meme coins that blow up, but that's lottery. Let's not talk about that. But most coins have been going down. Super is sitting 20x from the lows. So it shows that in a market where everything has been going sideways at best, that if a coin does a 20x, yeah, there's something interested, interesting in that coin, right? Because it has been outperforming the market. So if it does that during an unalt season, it would be a little unwise, in my opinion, to ignore that coin during, a, during an alt season. So yeah, in my opinion, super 5x uh, from here, uh, that I can pretty much guarantee. Uh, 10x from here, very likely, right? And yeah, there will be better returns somewhere else, definitely. Um, but these are also higher risk coins. And then it's just comes down to like, wh what game are you playing? Um, are you willing to lose your money, but to also have a chance of making a lot of money? Or do you feel like, okay, I want to play it somewhat safe and still have some good returns, then super is a great... Uh, buy so look there's no right and wrong with these things right legends of elysium is brutally undervalued in my opinion 230k market cap 3.3 million fully diluted um it's an interesting coin it is new let's pop it up uh, on screen real quick i had quite a big investment uh, in the pre-sale right in as you can see uh wasn't my best investment <laughs> down pretty hard yeah is it undervalued um I don't know, because it, 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 we don't know what the real value is uh, for this coin, right? Basically, since it came out, it's been going down. So purely chart-wise, it's very easy to say that this is uh, a very bad investment. I mean, it's 360K, might as well go to 50, right? It's on its way there so far. Um, what I don't like is if you, again, look at coins like this, it has a 10x dilution. So what you usually want to do is go to crypto rank. They have most of the assets uh, investing. And there you can see where the, where, where the unlocks are coming from. And you can see basically private sale is now dumping. Team is now dumping. Ecosystem is dumping. Seed sale, public sale, ad drop marketing, strategic sale, advisors. They're all dumping, right? Um, and it is already very low market cap. So therefore, it is very easy with a coin like this to get 60%, you know, pullbacks uh, daily, for maybe, right? 
therefore, yeah, it is super low cap. But considering that so many different parties are dumping it, it can very easily go down way harder than this. So if it's undervalued, I don't know. Um, this is the type of coin that I would say, hmm, wait for it, you know, to, for, for, for the next cycle maybe and see if it survives and maybe then get it in the next bear market. These are the cheat codes in crypto, I think. But getting it during the dump fest, yeah, it could work out. But it, it, I don't like the chances, really. Somebody said, I stopped watching this video as soon as I saw that you didn't have UFO gaming on your list. Um, yeah, is that a reason to not watch the rest? That's fine, though. But no, I don't have UFO gaming on my list. I feel like UFO gaming is a last cycle coin um, that's not really doing much in this cycle. There's nothing wrong with last cycle coins. Matter of fact, I think a lot of last cycle coins are way better than newer coins because they don't have that big vesting and dumping on the market. Um, but UFO has been really one of the hardest losers in this market so far. It went from a $1.5 billion market cap to $16 million. This actually went down 100x, right? So therefore, I feel like, whoa, this coin shows that it has real weakness and that people love to sell this shit, right? Um, and at a certain point, it might pop, but it has proven downside, right? So then I feel like, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of the gaming meme coin um, and it... The price chart also shows that it has meme coin uh, kind of vibes. Um, so therefore, I feel like, man, if a coin shows that it could be that weak, then I'm not burning my fingers in it. Like, then, of course, it could go up, but there's so much that can go up. Why would I pick the coin that has the relative super weakness in that case? Natty, he said, AGI, which you don't longer talk about, and uh, oh, RT will also perform well versus other AI projects. The reason why I don't talk about AGI anymore is because I'm waiting for the big updates, actually. Um, but two, as well, we talked about that project so early on the channel, and I think it did 60x from there or something like, we got a lot of money from that. Um, I can talk about it right now for maybe another two, three, four, five X, but that's not really much compared to what we already did with this one. So I feel like job is done, kind of, right? Like there's still upside um, and I still I'm still bullish on the project, but I've, we already accomplished more than what we will accomplish with this coin, if you know what I mean. So I'd rather look for new stuff, actually. Um, and OORT, I don't know that one, to be honest. Yeah, another one about Super. He says, Super, huh? so you don't really know why it is performing. You want to be exit liquidity for Elliot Trades, Becker, and a huge network of coordinated dumps. Look, that's, that's the thing. Um, if you are scared that you are going to be exit liquidity, then, then, then you should not get in, right? But again, Super already did like a 20x. So... If anything, you should already be in profit at least enough to take your initial out. Um, and then there is zero danger, right, for you to be in a coin like that. So if you are scared because Elio had some failed projects in the past, yeah, apparently this one is not, right? It's listed on all the big exchanges. It's connected with all the big games in the world. Like... If you still feel like super is a scam or anything like that, then 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 I feel like mm, that's proven that, that that this is not it, right? And even if it is, again, like you should have already have your money back. Um, and if you are now, if you have no position and you're scared of a coin maybe being not not like legit or anything, yeah, then you should simply not get in. Uh, but fact is, super has been outperforming. Um, and, 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 and yeah, that, that's simply what it is, man. And we can, of course, search for things to complain about, but we can also be like, wow, this coin is strong. Let's get in, get your initial out as soon as possible if you have not already, and then there is no risk anymore, right? So I, I don't see the problem really. Andrew uh, says, how many coins do you have? And what is your plan to sell them all? Exit plan update. 
uh, that, that's something for a full video, actually. How many coins I have? Way too much. Way too much. That's my problem. Um, I rather have 10 coins and keep a good overview, but I'm way closer to 50. Um, 150 if you count my uh, pre-sale investments as well. So, yeah, uh, but I'm an unorganized person. I have ADHD and uh, I, I cannot uh, organize shit. So that's my personal problem. I won't do it if I was you. And what my plan is to sell them all is I have a personal um, goal, money-wise. And once I accomplish that, I take that money out and then the rest I'm going to let it ride. That, but that's something for a full video because uh, not everybody has the same goals as I do. Uh, but DCA in and DCA out, really. So you will not, if you, if you are on this channel looking to time the top in the bull market, then th th sorry, <laughs> wrong, wrong channel, bro. We're not going to try to time the top. We're going to sell too early. We're going to sell too late. We're going to sell maybe exactly at the top but everything around it, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I made a video uh, showing again that altcoins have been underperforming and somebody said several alts have been outperforming Bitcoin though. And yeah, that's true, that's always the case. But exceptions don't change the rule. And that's what you really should look at for the next bull market as well. If altcoins are on a downtrend on their Bitcoin pair, you could be like, well, I'm gonna search for the exceptions. In hindsight, that's always easy, but that's getting harder and harder. There are so many more coins hitting the market. You try to find the exceptions is really, really, really hard to do. Um, and matter of fact, that's 90% based on luck. And it's better to just wait for the overall market, in my opinion, to bottom out against Bitcoin than keep on catching a falling knife in the hope that you have some exceptions here and there. Because again, this, these are altcoins on their Bitcoin pairs and you can see that they are now just simply at the lows. Now, are there some altcoins that did this? Yeah, right, of course. But again, before that happens, you don't know that it's going to happen with that specific altcoin. It's not that we have crystal balls in this game, of course. And two, even if it happens during an, an, uh, with, an, with an altcoin that you have, you probably don't have a big position in that altcoin, at least not if you're smart, because if the general market is in a downtrend and you figure that it's a smart idea to go heavily into altcoins then, yeah, you're going to lose with 99 altcoins and the one that does outperform, yeah, that compensates for that again, right? Um, so yeah, there are always outperformers and you will see that uh, when alt season starts, there will also be underperformers. Therefore, I'm not looking at the exceptions too much. I'm looking at the market as a whole and write it how it looks like by then. And now, again, it's at the bottom. So now I feel like it's good to convert Bitcoin into altcoins. And there will be outperformers during the run-up. There will be underperformers. But I at least know that I catch the, uh, the trend. Somebody said, sorry, I went all into memes um, yeah, you don't have to apologize to me. You have to apologize to your to your to your wife. I think, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, that doesn't matter. Like, strategy, dif it's different strategies, right? Um, if you have a lot of money that you feel like I can lose, or a lot if you have money that you feel like I can lose this, but I want to gamble to to maybe make a lot of money, then this could be the strategy, definitely. Um, and it also depends on what kind of memes. Are you in the Pepe's, in the Brats, right? These kind of meme coins, you will do fine. But if you are in the lower cap memes, there's a very high chance that you lose it all. Uh, I would personally never be all in, especially not in meme coins. Um, but then again, I, I, I don't like to gamble that much. And some people, they do. And that's fine. It maybe works out and it maybe doesn't. I hope you are just prepared for the fact that it might not work out. And in that case, th then there's nothing wrong with this strategy. Playbook Games responded, uh, thanks for the love. Ordinum drops next month in open beta. Stay tuned, things are getting wild. And I think that like after I made that video, I dug more and more and more into Playable Games. And I must say that like, because I said they, they don't have a hit game yet, right? But then I look more into the games that they are building. And I just want to mention uh, one more time, like playable 
is so transparent with what they are building. They show how they are building it. They show how far they are, the updates, and it looks good. And then if you compare the market cap of their project compared to like what they are actually building, Playbull's undervalued, man. And I think that they are going to do fantastic. Um, so uh, keep your eyes on that one. Somebody said... Problem is, Bitcoin bottomed when dominance was as, was at all-time lows. It could top when it's up. That's theoretically possible. I don't think so, but it could, definitely. I mean, if we take a look at the Bitcoin dominance and we overlay Bitcoin and you see when Bitcoin bottomed, which was here, that was pretty close to the dominance low indeed. So I get that you are saying like, well, maybe the top for the dominance comes in with the top of Bitcoin. Based on history, that's not likely. Um, but even if that happens, it doesn't really matter actually, because even if Bitcoin tops and the dominance tops as well and the dominance goes down, you will make more money on the alt run than you will lose on your Bitcoin value. Um, because liquidity shifts from the high cap Bitcoin into the low cap altcoins, right? And that's where the money grows harder than what Bitcoin loses. However, if you look at the last two cycles, here we had the Bitcoin top, right? And that was not when the dominance stopped. Matter of fact, the dominance first went down and then Bitcoin topped. Here, same, right? Dominance first went down and then Bitcoin topped. Um, so when you compare the two last alt seasons, then you would say like, okay, well, dominance should go down and then Bitcoin will top. And again, maybe you're right, but this is based on what happened so far, the two times that this happened before. Um, and there's a very good chance that it will happen again. Overall, I do think that the market is in for a nice run. So, you know, whether you are like in a coin that has a lot of inflation or you are in meme coins or like, I think at the end of the day, 99% of the coins will profit and the one will profit more than the other. But it is super hard to now lose with crypto. Again, unless you are still sidelined, you watch the market go up, and then you decide to get in and buy the top or whatever. And unfortunately, that's what most people will do. But these people are, I think the people that are not watching this, because they, will, they are the retail that will get in later, right? We are the retail that were here already for, maybe you were here since last cycle or more cycles or since the bear market, doesn't matter, but you are here now at the right time, right before the lag up when nobody believes that that lag is up is coming. That's the golden time to be in crypto. And one last chart, if you look at the altcoin dominance again, this is a parallel channel that the dominance has been in for seven years. We need one more year, right? If it's accurate for seven years, then I'm betting my money on it that it will be accurate for another year. And if that's the case, then we will see a massive alt season. And then all we have to do, buy now, wait for a year, sell our shit, and buy Lambos and Islands and, and, and all that kind of weird shit. So if you guys like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on, leave a comment about whatever the fuck your opinion is about whatever the fuck, and I will talk about it in the next video maybe. So see you then.